What is up everyone and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. Now I gotta ask a question because I, this has been bothering me for ages today, okay? Where do I sleep? At my camp? Someone please tell me in the comment section. I have been running around camp all night and I can't find anywhere to sleep. I don't get it. Do I just not have anywhere to sleep in this chapter? It's nonsense. So I've just been hanging out with the chickens, basically. And making some food, making some items, and having a wee bit of a shave because Susie was Arthur, getting we need beardy. To talk to you. Uh oh. Okay, what what have I done? What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since horseshoe. But you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take... Good. According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. <laughs> it's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Well, if Lenny's Mr. coming, Morgan. the mission's going to be impossible. Strauss. That man, the debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right, follow me. I swear Arthur is just done with this life. He's just like, oh, whatever. I don't wanna do any of this, but okay. That's the thing, Arthur never comes up with ideas. He just gets dragged along for the so, ride. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. <clears throat> like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. <laughs> oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, 
Take it nice and easy. Ain't been a good week. Just wanna find me a regular honey. I mean, hopefully we're not recognized, but you know. We're not exactly well liked here, so we'll we'll see how this goes. That fast travel is actually locked down there. It'd be nice to get that back open. Uh oh, my HP is gonna go. Darn it, why did I decide to use that? That was really silly of me. Good I shouldn't morning. have used that. Hello. What are you doing down there, doggy? Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Hey! All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. He's stuck. Lenny's stuck. <laughs> Come on, Lenny. Oh, he got it? He got it. All right, so let's rob this bitch. You ready, girl? Karen, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool. Fool, and follow me, fellers. I 
don't look suspicious. Although I feel like I should have worn a hat. But so we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Um Let's go for the lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Would you care to? I'm with child, and it's. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get down! Move. Get don't down, make us dude! Hurt you. Get the fuck down! Here, unlock the door. Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh. Sit down, you know sir. Open a goddamn vault! Oh, open it! Hurry up, dude. Come on. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Too slow. Too goddamn slow! Dude, hurry the fuck up! Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! I will shoot the fuck out of you! God damn! Get my fucking way! God. I'm in! Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Why is it showing? Oh, there we go. Blow Reckon up. We'll have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <gasps> now, you shut the hell up and be still. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. Yeah, Lenny, you tell him. check the front. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. Oh, no, no. Taking too long. Anytime now. Is it gonna blow? There we go. Ooh. Right, guys, come and help me loot this. Are you need to get out of here? Go on as fast as I can. That's I another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. could have helped. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company! Sorry, partner. 
partner. Uh, shit, hurry up! I heard, go on! We got the place surrounded! Assuming folk ain't getting there, you won't swing! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know, give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead! I'll go. Follow me. What are you, insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake! Get out of there, miss! Sorry. Uh-oh.
be back for All us. Right. I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Yeah, I'm feeling like Arthur is really over this life with Dutch. I don't know why, I'm just... Oh, gobble, gobble. I'm just getting vibes, you know, where it's like, every time something happens, he's always the first to be like, you know what, that was stupid. It was reckless. I'm not happy about that. And considering he's like so high up, he's so high up in the ranks of the gang. But yet, yeah, it does, it just seems like he's, He's not happy. I don't think he's happy. I don't know. I don't have any proof of that, but I'm just I'm just going by the vibes that I'm getting from him and I, I just feel like he after every mission that goes a little bit sour where people die and money is robbed. I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like he's not happy about it. It's like killing the innocent, you know? Like, for example, if you kill someone at a bank, they're just working for the bank. They're not like robbers or anything like that. And I think Arthur just doesn't enjoy that. Hey, doggo. Hey, buddy. My husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? <laughs> I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. know how her husband died can we find that out or maybe we just find that out by going back to camp and speaking to the guy once we give him the money but yeah I feel like should I have done that mission earlier and then it would have been different like the husband wouldn't have been dead or maybe it was supposed to just go that way I don't know I really love Arthur though I feel like he's got so much depth to his character like one minute he's like this sensitive guy of reason but then it's like he's going to collect debt so he, he just always knows what to say to people you know it's like people give him so much crap but yet he still knows what to say to be like don't fuck with me you know damn son that is a lot of money Wow. Wow. Oh, look! It's Sheriff Morgan! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Lenny. 
That was a lot of money. So, how are you? Evening, horses. Arthur. Very well. All right, how are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. I think you're getting a bit too attached to that badge now. Yeah, sure. Um, we have a lot of money. I don't know what giving the money actually does, if anything. Let's donate this, just to see. Like, maybe one of the girls will like that. I don't know. There's plenty of money in the kitty, so... I don't know, but I got plenty of money. I could buy myself a nice new outfit. I could go get some yum-yums. Do I need some food? Aw, oh, man, there's no food. I just want to see if I can sleep in a bed or not. No one in it. Nah, I'm not allowed to sleep in any of these beds. Evening, Arthur. Word up. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. That's what you call the ring dang do. She went off to be a whore, hung a sign upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. Thank you, Craig. Give a ring dang do. Give a ring dang do. Now, what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what they call a ring dang do. <laughs> oh no! Sing another one! Yes! Sing another one! Oh man. You guys are lame. So yeah, I. Do I have a bed here? Because it doesn't seem like I do. I don't know where I'm supposed to sleep. Yeah, it just gives me the option to sit. It was fun going out and working with you, Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. Long as you had fun, girl, that's that's all that matters, I suppose. Alright, so we got another mission on the map for just now. It's not too far away. It's Hosea. We got Gwen Hughes over there. And we still have this one up here. Jeremiah, that's fine. Valentine is just a major no-no. We're just, we're not having much to do with Valentine anytime soon, that's for sure. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to try and sleep. Evening, Arthur. Evening. You wanna talk? Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. All right, everyone, that is all I got time for in this episode of Red Dead Redemption. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.